Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a foundation review and it is of the L'Oreal True Match foundation. I got this foundation last semester and they had a two for one deal at Priceline which is like the drugstore in Australia and I thought why not try this. It has been highly raved by a lot of YouTube people and also a lot of blogs so I was pretty happy to try this out. I love this foundation. It is definitely a must buy and a great everyday foundation. If you're looking for a foundation that sort of glows a little bit but not too much as you can see I'm using it and it's not too much of a glow and also if you're looking for a foundation that's sort of very light feeling but doesn't feel cakey and still covers really well this is a foundation for you I have stopped using my concealer actually I've just doubled up on this foundation when I have blemishes and it covers perfectly and stays throughout the day just like a normal concealer does so I'm gonna be talking about its texture its blendability its coverage and also its lasting power because those are the sort of key traits that I think you know a foundation, every foundation should have. Before all that, packaging wise, I know that in I think the US they don't have this packaging. So my packaging I got in Australia and I think Singapore has the same packaging and it is with a pump. So as you can see there's a pump here and the foundation comes with a pump. I know I think in the US it comes in a bottle which is kind of complicated and I know that they should change because the foundation is kind of liquidy itself. So if you pour it out you can sort of waste a lot of it, a lot of the foundation. Packaging wise, I love it if I get it in this Asian Australia, but I know that in the US of A, it's totally different. The texture is great. I love the texture. If I squeeze a little bit out for you, you can see that it's a very, it's not very creamy. It's not thick at all. It's quite sheer. So if I sort of blend it out for you, you can see that it's sort of a very thin wearing foundation, but it covers extremely, extremely well. It blends really well into the skin. I kind of use a synthetic kabuki. So this is the Sigma F80 and I also have the Sigma F82. These brushes are amazing for this foundation. If anything, you should get like a synthetic kabuki to blend and buff the foundation in because you get the most flawless finish ever. I wouldn't really suggest you using your fingers because the coverage is quite high and it's like quite a thin foundation. You'll be blending it for quite a long time. So getting a good synthetic kabuki for this foundation is a good idea. But of course you don't have to get go out and get one right now because if you already have a foundation brush you just use that one. I also think that what's special about this foundation is that it's a brightening foundation. So if you kind of look really really closely like in the light you can sort of see a very sort of light tinge of gold reflex and that means that the foundation is a brightening foundation if you apply it it'll give you a little subtle glow which i really really like when the when the foundation sort of dries you can see also there's a bit of shimmer i like how it's not like an obvious shimmer like the revlon photo ready foundation it's sort of a more subtle sort of really nice subtle sort of finish on your skin coverage wise it's amazing as you now know i don't really use concealer anymore all i have to do is i use this foundation and double that up onto my blemish or acne scar and it works perfectly well throughout the day i find that you know sometimes when i use an additional concealer it cakes up a little bit but now i've sort of skipped that step and just have doubled up with this foundation and it just works perfectly set with a powder it'll last all day in terms of lasting power it's not too bad probably wouldn't wear this like out clubbing or you know nights out and stuff because it probably won't last you it's good good for daily wear it'll last you the whole day but probably not into the night if you know what I mean so it's not like it's not really a long wearing foundation it's super blendable it's perfecting it definitely diminishes all my pores all my blemishes it's just a very beautiful foundation my shade is a golden beige and I'm NC30 at Mac I know a lot of you have asked me what my shade is whenever I do a foundation review so there it is I love this foundation it's one of the best ones I can't really say anything bad about it I've been using it every single day I, I feel it's very light, it's good for every day, and it covers really, really well, but it leaves a really nice, subtle glow. So I hope you liked this review, and definitely check this foundation out in the store if you have time, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!